Happy New Year guys and welcome back to a new video. So this is literally the first video of 2021 and I want to show you one of the most popular library uh, in this tutorial and let me know your thoughts as well. What do you think of this video? And without further ado, let's now get started. All right, so here this is the library. It's called Colors, uh, colors.js. And you can see that this is the number of downloads uh, for this week. It's more than 15 million downloads. Um, now let's just take a look at what um, this library does. So here you can see that it just get the colors and the start in 2D node.js console in this case i'm going to show you with uh, working with the uh, react apps and here's the text saying happy new year 2021 and here this is what the code look like so now let's just get back here and try to look at this so now um again just uh the purpose of this is to have like uh, the, the the console um to have colorful text uh, it can be like red blue green and more and you can also do something like the rainbow here as well. So today's video is brought to you by Kai. Kai is AI power code completion to all of your code editors. And normally we gotten used to an AI finishing our sentences, but completion for programming languages are still not that smart. And that's why Kai has ML or machine learning models trained on over 25 million files and it allows to code faster and stay in the flow. So Kai's AI, it have to uh, cut the keystroke as much as 45%. And Kai supports over 16 languages and 16 code editors. And you can download Kai for completely free today. Okay, so this is the code to install. Um, let now just try to uh, probably just copy it from here. And I'm going to install this library into the project. All right, so while this is installing, let's just uh, scroll down a little bit and take a look at this. So here uh, we have the color and styles and the text color, uh, we have different colors, um, black, red. I'll test this one for you. Um, down here, we got the uh, bright uh, text color. It's just a little bit brighter compared to using this default one. Um, down here we have the uh, background color. We can also add the uh, color to the background as well with these options. And down here this is the bright uh, background colors and we got style, uh, reset, italic, or bold. And this is the extra which is this one right here, this is the rainbow. I'm going to test this one for you to see. Uh, probably this one as well, trap. Okay, so this is how we're gonna use it. Um, now let's just take a look at the installation. It's still installing. Okay, so now let's just uh, take a look at this one. Um, we have two options uh, to use. So for this one, um, this is the, so as you can see right here, two types of usages. Um, this one, basically we just append the color behind the uh, string. So that's the first way and the other one. Um, this one right here, we need to uh, basically declare the colors and then dot with the name of the color and right here with the um, string behind it. So the author also mentioned that uh, he prefer he or she uh, prefer the uh, first way, but some people are afraid of like extending the uh, string dot prototype, and that's why they prefer the second way. And right here we also have the enabling and disabling colors as well. So inside the code, this is what the code should be. All right. So now let me just try to start the server again. npm start. And I'm going to try to import um, this one right here. So I'm gonna show you the first one first, uh, the first way, and then uh, we go with the second one. Let's just the code here. 
So this one, this is the way that used in um, Node.js, but you can definitely change it uh, using this format as well, but I'm going to keep it as is. Now let's just um, see the example that I'm going to use. Probably this one right here. Let's just copy this. Um, I'm going to remove the Happy New Year text and inside this this is what it looked like okay so now let's just see whether we get the result so this is supposed to be the green text of um, hello uh, text hello let's just right click and going to the consult right here so this is the text hello but as you can see um, it doesn't seem to work now let's just take a look again that I just show you which is right here the uh, enabling the color so I'm going to enable this one using this code let's just uh, paste it right here and see if we get the result that we want all right so here you can see that uh, we got the green hello text and I just want to also mention that right here I zoom in uh, so you're supposed to be seeing something like this and I just zoom in so that you can see this easily now let's just try it, um, the others so I'm going to try the rainbow so Let's just get back and right here supposed to be rainbow um, say hello world um, 2021 and just go back all right so here you can see that we got the uh, rainbow text right here and there's a lot more that you can try out so I'm not gonna try show you everything but uh, this time, I, let me just show you the trap dot trap. See what it is. So as I say, it dropped the bus. And here it is. So this is what it looked like. Okay, next one, I'm going to show you the uh, second way how to use this. So this time, um, it's quite similar. Uh, we just need to use the colors dot which let me just copy this one right here let me just keep the first one as well and I'm going to go with the second way which is using just let's just write this and this is the another one all right save it so this is color dot green let me try yellow this time and here it is we get what we expected um, next I want to uh, show you the background color um, now let me just go with the BG green or the background uh, green so let me just replace this and we're supposed to see the green color of the background and here it is so that's pretty much um, easier if you have a lot of codes and you see a list of uh, consoles then it might be easier uh, if you have this implemented uh, so you can just quickly find it that's how we use this and uh, this is how popular it is as well because of the uh, benefits of using this library so I think um, that's pretty much it guys. Um, let's see, maybe I can try to show you another one as well. So let me just go with the uh, background. This time supposed to be yellow. Again, let me just place this and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Alright, let's just take a look again. 
and again here it is this is the result that we get off using the uh, code right here so if you have any questions just let me know and again happy new years and wish you all the best see you guys in the next video